Yes. Hey, uh, what do you mean by a self-paced course? Well, the course material is available in the form of video lectures, and there are multiple practice problems that come along as well. So you can access all of it anywhere, anytime, and they are available to you for lifetime. No way. Oh, yes way. Don't delay and enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. We have Devika with us today. So I am sure that most of us uh, must have already read the title and the thumbnail of this video. And people are really excited. I can already see there are a lot of people in the live. So before I start uh, with the video, can you guys just let me know in the comment section if I'm perfectly visible and audible? Guys, just give me a thumbs up if we are perfectly visible and audible to all of you and then we'll start. Cool. We are audible. Okay. So here we are talking with Devika. So before we start with her experience and everything, let's just start with having a brief introduction about herself. Hi, I'm Devika. I'm a sophomore at Vellur Institute of Technology and I'm pursuing bachelor's in electronics and communication. I'm an in incoming step intern at Google. It, I, I'm also really excited personally because she's my junior. So I feel really nice. Like I have I have also gotten the opportunity to talk to her. So I am also personally very excited for this whole webinar. Okay, yeah. let's get started. Also, guys, if you have any questions for Devika, please feel free to put it in the comment section so that we will just take it after the like after the like after my questions are over or in between also we can take. Cool. So Devika, as you mentioned that you are an incoming step intern. So how did you get to know about this opportunity? Was it on campus, off campus? Okay, so at first I got to know about this opportunity in my first year of college through different YouTube channels and all. And uh, it is actually on campus and off campus. On campus for only few colleges. Uh, I applied for it off campus through career website of Google. I got to know it through some Telegram channels, which uh, alert us about all the live opportunities. Okay. So like since you are just in second year and it's in second year, people are not generally that aware about all these opportunities and tend to miss the opportunities that are there. So tell us about your coding journey. How did you start so early and everything? Actually, in my school, uh, I had C++ from six standard itself. Okay. So I was always comfortable with coding. Then in college in first semester itself, we had Python which was like easier than C++. Hmm. So I felt even more comfortable and I liked it a lot. So I always made sure to practice it regularly and never lose complete touch with it. So that, that was my coding journey actually. Yeah. Correct. Okay. So you started from sixth grade itself. That's like <laughs> a lot before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They That's just it. teach basics in sixth, seventh and all. And gradually yeah. they improve the level. Yes. And also like you're really aware about these off campus opportunities. That is a really good point. Like you mentioned that you saw some in some telegram group, right? Yeah, yeah. About the opportunity. Yes. Apart from that, I would like to ask like how many rounds were there? Like was there online assessment and interviews? What what was the entire procedure of the selection? For step in there are totally three rounds. First is resume selection round. And after that, there are two technical interview rounds and hmm. all of them are eliminatory rounds. Okay. So one is resume selection, then two technical interviews. Yes. Yes. Okay. There is no online assessment involved uh, between. No, no, no. Okay. That is kind of a different procedure as I've generally seen. Right. Yeah. But this is a little more comfortable also. Like there is an interviewer to help you out with the question and all. Correct. And I've also heard like I've talked to a few other step interns as well. They've told that the interviewers are really helpful and they guide you throughout the interview and everything. Yeah, they keep on giving you hints and all. 
they are very friendly also right so devika can you uh, discuss a brief about the about each of the interview round like there were two so can you discuss about both of them both of them are purely data structures and algorithm based hmm. they generally don't ask anything else like for me they didn't ask anything and there will be like two to three questions depending on the interviewer and they will start with a easy question and then as a follow up question they will keep on increasing the level of question so level is like medium level questions only medium level questions right and yes. both of them are technical not hr or something nothing not nothing only technical okay only technical cool so the next thing was that resume because you mentioned that the first step was resume selection so i'm sure that that played a very important role right so like how many girls are selected for the interview rounds do you have any like approximation no they didn't mention anything like that to us okay but like how did you prepare your resume because we are in second year so we do not have a lot of things that we have done in college that i can mention in my resume so like how did you prepare your resume such that it can stand out from the rest of the people who are applying yeah for resume in project section i included two basic projects both of them were ml based mm. and uh, they didn't need not be very uh, tough projects they can be basic also like medium level and uh, then i briefly described about the project using bullet points that's it like two to three projects are enough and then mm. then i mentioned my coach of rating and all that comes in problem solving there is there should be something to show a problem solving skills so that's it and in first year for first year girls there is an opportunity called women in engineering by google and talent spring so i got selected for that so i mentioned that also on my resume these were the main things actually and then mm. if we have to apply off campus we can even take referral which will help in the resume uh, screening process correct also you mentioned that you added ml related projects so is it necessary that like any project of any domain would work that or uh, like you worked on ml so that gave you an edge or like what is your suggestion to the people like what projects do, should they work on i don't think there is any domain restriction because google works on almost all range of domains so correct. we have to do what interests us that's it correct and it is not necessary i think to work on a big major project like even a yeah. small project is uh, good enough yeah and try to do it yourself that's it. that is the most important thing right correct and your courtship ratings and everything uh, you mentioned help you stand yeah. apart from the rest right yes so Devika, what was your preparation strategy? Because you told that you came to know this about this program in first year itself, right? So uh, you must have started preparing. You have that thing in mind that I have to apply it in my second year. So what was the roadmap that you followed during this one year of preparation? Actually, from last year, I didn't prepare seriously for this. I just mm. kept on practicing it regularly. That's it. Uh, my right. serious preparation for this started in like December, November. That's it. Hmm. Uh, two to three months are enough if you are practicing regularly. Correct, and it does not have any college restriction, right? Or there is? Uh, no, off campus anyone can apply. Oh, anyone can apply, and like no restrictions are there based on CGPA, college, or something, or are there? I don't know. I would say keeping a CGP of eight point five and above will be enough. Hmm. Will be quite good. Right, because I've talked to people with uh, like you no know, diverse set, like people with eight point five or have also like gotten selected, and nine have also gotten selected. So I don't think CGPA matters in selection that much. Yes. But yes, eight point five, as you mentioned, is a decent one. Right. so many people have this doubt that during their initial years they should focus more on dsa or development so what will be your suggestion for the people who are you know they have just entered college should they focus on dsa or development i would say both are needed because development is needed for resume selection round 
So mm. if you don't have nice projects in your resume, then you will be eliminated in the first round itself. Then there's no mm. use of your DSA preparation. So I would say do both of them parallelly and focus more on DSA maybe because we have two interviews for DSA. Correct. Yeah. Do two or so, three projects in development, two or three nice mm. projects. Nice project. And also it will be really good if you can finally, you know, get an end product, like maybe host your own website or something yeah. wherein you, the interview yeah. can actually see what you've worked on. Yes, yes. And in second year, since we, they don't expect too much from us, so yeah. it is okay if it's not a big thing. And Correct, correct. And also like Devika has a lot of, you know, she has, like you mentioned that you have coach have ratings and everything, but I don't think that is important. Like even if you do not have ratings, you have equally chance, you have equal chances of getting selected, right? Yes, I think so. But that's what was there in my resume. Yeah, definitely. You should have something that sets you apart from the rest, right? Yeah, like uh, in the career page, they gave the basic eligibility as one of the three languages. So hmm. I think we should mention something that shows that we know those three languages like that. Okay. And in the, in the interview, was there any question that you know that you faced difficulty while solving or uh, when you saw it, you were like, I don't know how to do it. How did you tackle with that situation? Yeah, a few questions are like that mostly. So we keep on optimizing it. With keep on talking to the interviewer she will give right. some hints and we we have to try optimizing it to our level best hmm. and that's it they will like surely support you a lot like they will keep on hint like uh, do you want to try different data structure they will actually say all those things so it's nice yeah correct and can you tell few of the data structures that are important because i don't think very high level data uh, data structures like graphs and everything are asked or are they Graphs are asked actually, but okay. basic levels only. I basic would say level. study every all topics, but to a median level. Hmm. No need to uh, learn too much high, but learn every every topic. Learn every topic. Okay. So we can take few of the questions from the comment section. I can see a lot of questions. So people are asking about your college. So she's in VIT Villar, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, any tips for third year student to get into these companies? <laughs> any tips, Devika? Focus on DSA for the interview and keep right. nice projects on resume. Yes, definitely. Roadmap to step intern at Google. I think we have we have been discussing this same thing <laughs> since the start of the video. Yes. So Uday has asked how to pick good quality question for every DSA topics. Like there are, if you go to lead code and search array questions, there will be around 300, 400 questions. So how do you sort the questions that, okay, this, 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 I can pick. Uh, there are actually like uh, DSA sheets by different YouTubers and all. Mm. That is quite useful. They actually choose all the important ones. And I would say don't look for just important keep practicing is really important like practice any type of questions if you have time like if you are in first year you need to learn practice a lot of questions correct correct and even in lead code there are like 100 interview question sheet i think i think yes. that is also very helpful i think interview bit also they give some, hmm. some selected questions yeah, there are company-wise questions. Even in Geeks for Geeks, we have uh, company-wise uh, questions that help me also personally a lot. So maybe you can refer those. Yes. Then as you are mentioning YouTube channels, so is there any particular YouTube channel that you follow? Komal has asked. Um, nothing specific. I um, There is someone called Love, I think so. I don't hmm. remember the YouTube name. I liked him personally. Uh, like I like his videos, like his graph videos, mine research mm. videos. Th those were great. Yeah, and also like search for people like maybe she's able to understand from one particular YouTuber, you might not be able to write. So try to, you know, explore in the beginning and then see like who explains you the best and then follow that. Right. Roadmap for a web developer. 
You're a web I developer. Don't know. No, I'm no, not. No, no. Okay, guys, she's not a web developer. So yeah, so I can maybe take that. So if you're a web developer and you have to start from scratch, maybe you can try taking some course or there are so many YouTube videos as well nowadays. So you can start from basic CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and then move to any framework. Okay, then. Rohit has asked that he, he has not received the test link after referral then what can he do does that mean that he's not selected or actually in india this program is mostly for girls huh. so boys don't usually get selected after the resume selection round maybe because of right. that you didn't get right but also like this is not just for women like it is a most of yeah, most of the selected candidates are women, but I have seen LinkedIn posts of boys as well who have posted uh, that they have received step intern. Uh, maybe in foreign countries, I didn't see any Indian like that. Yeah, even I'm not really sure about that, but yeah, most of the people selected are like girls. Okay. Okay. So Karen has asked web development versus app development versus ML, like what should he work on for projects? It will truly depend on your interests. Hmm. You should do what fascinates you the most. That's it. Yeah, and correct. know the I basics think... properly. Only you can answer that for yourself, I think. Like what interests you the most. Okay. Ashish, can you put your question once again? And I will definitely take it. I am having. So Uday has asked, I am having three plus years of experience, not much getting time. So is solving standard or any SD sheet is enough? So I am having three plus years of experience. So does he mean that he's out of college, like three plus years of experience in Probably, work? probably. I don't know much about those things. I'm second year only. Yeah, guys, she's still in second year, so maybe ask questions re like relevant to that, right? As you mentioned, machine learning, you made machine learning projects, so like they're asking the roadmap, like what resource did you follow and everything? Uh, yeah, there are like quite popular playlists in YouTube actually. Hmm. Andrew Ng, that is quite good. If, I, if you are just starting, then you should start with that playlist, I would say. Yes, then definitely. And I she worked on projects, I think. Projects? Uh, you should like read a lot of articles like that. Just talk, choose a topic and try to implement it like that. What is the criteria of taking internship at Google? I think there is no no one criteria. Like it depends on program to program, right? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, in interview, uh, I would say we need to communicate a lot. Like mm. we have to think out loud. All those things matters a lot than the actual solution. I would say. Like yes. we need to be clear at what we convey to the interviewer. We have to keep on optimizing. We have to write neat code. All those things makes a lot of difference. Yes, correct. Kishan has asked that which language is good for DSA? There is nothing specific. For interview, I, I took Python because that is more easy to convey and write also. That's it. Right. And yeah. Yeah. And because I think you did C from like your school days, right? Or Python? I did C from school, but Python is a little more easier. So I easier. choose that for interview. Yeah, correct. But like, I think any language, I think logic is a more important language. You can yes. shift between any. There are five with three languages C, Java, and Python. Anyone is fine. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, as you mentioned that you are a competitive programmer as well, you have solved code chef and uh, various platforms. So how did that help you? Do you think only DSA, like doing only DSA was enough or that also helped you in some ways? 
Complicated coding helps you like we practice a lot so we get a hang of it. So right. it helps you like while coding and all. It helps you code a little faster and all. Yeah, it definitely helps during the interview. Yes, right. Java or C++ for DSA, I think she has already answered this. Like choose any language, I think logic matters, right? Yes. Yes, choose any language that you feel like. She did uh, Python and C++, so, but you can choose any. Yeah, Tanuja has asked, which language did you learn in these two years? So, Python. I learned C, C++, and Python. Yes, correct. So, Komal has asked that, how did you get Google internship? From where did you get all the information? So basically, like from where did you get to know about these yeah. opportunities? When I was in first year, I got to know it from Kushbu, this uh, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I used to follow that. So I got to know it from there. Then there are you Telegram groups like Ash by a Telegram group. From there, yeah, I yeah. get regular updates. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There are so many YouTubers now that you know post regular uh, updates about all these opportunities. Yes. And these days, uh, like for there are so many opportunities for second year students, like earlier, there were not many, but right now it is Flipkart is there, D-Show is there. There are so many companies that yeah. have programs so for second year. So many for girls, day. actually. Yes, yes, actually. So yeah, DCS is there, Flipkart Runway is there. So might as well, if any second year girl is watching this, you can apply for those. Okay. Please, any tips if management students can apply for Google internship. Do you have any clue about this? We don't know. Yeah, guys, we don't know. Maybe you can just go to the career page of Google and look into it. Like with your qualification, are there any job openings or something? So, yes. Then Varun Tej is asked, is step only for girls in India? I think she has already answered it. It is for underrepresented groups in India and in India, it's mostly for girls. Yes. Then Ashish has asked, what is the minimum percentage in 12th board? Is there any criteria like that? They didn't say anything like that. Maybe 90 yeah. boys, nice. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like she mentioned earlier also, like there was no cutoff as such, but it is nice if you maintain some good uh, marks, right? I am last year of college student. Did you mean, are you, like, what do you mean? What is last year? Okay. Should we have a prior two, three years of experience to get into Google? I don't have any experience, so yeah. it's fine. There are yes, programs absolutely. which don't need experiences. Yes, absolutely not, I think. So, yeah. So, Devika, after this internship, you also get, I think, full-time opportunities through this, right? I'm not sure about that. They didn't hmm. say anything. Yeah, but I think there are full time opportunities. So like getting a step in turn is re can really help you like you get proper mentors from Google itself, I think. Right. Yeah, working on a Google projects will add on add on to your resume and all. Yes, definitely. And it is something great like you are working on Google projects in second year itself. It's like uh, a really great feeling. Yeah. So please tell how BCA students can apply for product based companies and crack them. Again, we do not have a lot of uh, knowledge about this and we do not want to tell something that is not correct. So maybe go on their career portal and look for it. Does CGPA matter for internship? I think for Again. on campus it matters hmm. and on, for off campus it is kind of fine if it is little fine, low. Fine. So. Right, but it, still there there is so much competition these days. So yeah. maintain a good CGPA is really important. And in college placement, though, it will definitely matter. Like personally for our college, like 
uh, nine over nine CGPA will uh, help you get uh, a job or internship in the first lot. So yeah, Devikal will maybe experience next year. <laughs> yes. Guys, if you have any questions, like most of the questions are repetitive. If you have any new questions, please put it in the comment section. We will just wait for one minute. Otherwise, we can end with the webinar. How can I get product based company for a tier three college? Yeah, I think for such opportunities, I don't think they look at the college. They just hmm. look at the resume, your qualification, all those things. Correct. Tire doesn't matter. Then Mayur has asked, what was the difficulty level of DSA that they asked in the test as well as interview? So firstly, there was no test, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Interview, uh, as I said, it's medium level. Hmm. Questions. Medium level. Is it now late? So he is 2024 20, pass out and he's saying that is it now late to apply for internship or just I should just focus on GSOP. <laughs> okay. What interests you the most you should focus on exactly. That. Exactly. You should just not apply for GSOP because you know pe people it is so hyped up and everyone is applying. Like see if it actually interests you. And your 2024 20, batch, like you have a lot of time right now. So yeah. Okay, I think we have already covered most of the questions. Uh, which most of the people are asking about the language. So I will just tell you can choose any language. She chose C++ in school and then she shifted to Python. But for you, it can be totally different. Maybe you can start with C++, then go for Java and everything. Just learn one language nicely. And then shifting would be really easy, I think. Right. Samrat has asked that is projects mandatory for getting internship? I think so. There should be something in resume, right? Right, there should be. And whatever skills you are telling, suppose she's telling that, you know, she ha she is good with ML, but there should be something to back that up. I think projects do that. Or right. maybe experience. Hmm. Experience, yes, true. Internship, maybe you can do an internship and work on a project there. I think that is also equally good. Okay, this is a very interesting question. Were any college uh, subjects like CS Fundamental basically were asked to you like OS, DBMS or OOPS? They didn't ask any, any other subject in interview. They only data structures and interview, but they might ask you. They there might ask chances. you. Yeah, I think it depends on the interviewer because yes. at least OOPS you should prepare because OOPS is like taught us in the first year itself. So yeah. it was helping the coding also. C++. Definitely, definitely. Apart from apart from DSA, like what other things did you, did they test you on on technology level? Or maybe you can tell the soft skills. Like she mentioned that she had good communication skills because she was able to you know communicate with the interviewer. Were there any other things apart from DSA basically? No, they didn't ask anything else. From resume, your projects and everything? Nothing. No, they just ask for introduction, then questions. And after that, we can ask some question to the interviewer. That's it. OK, that is really great. And after how long did you finally receive the selection mail or something? After seven days, I got. After seven days. That's like a quick procedure. <laughs> it's yes. nice. How to excel in competitive coding, code shift? Any suggestions for a beginner? Practice. Practice, Practice helps. Practice and consistency. Only two things, I think. Right. Okay. Guys, if you have any other questions, you can put it in the comment section quickly. I guess we have covered most of the things. Is there any other thing, Devika, that you would like to tell from your experience or some mistakes that you did maybe that you would want to tell that, you know, do not repeat those mistakes? 
yeah never completely lose touch with coding like even if you are doing projects make sure to keep on practicing parallelly i did that actually and i come like i became a little slow in coding so always keep on doing both of them together i right. would say that is important yeah as a fresher only that much yeah time management basically like you should do everything can we crack the interview with python or java i think yes definitely like she said that she did in python right yes okay guys so i think we can end the webinar right now uh okay we'll take maybe one more question my sister wants to take it job which one would you suggest give me three options she is new to it she wants to take an it job so like she's Uh, like she got an uh, opportunity for sde intern so i think that is a good choice but otherwise it totally depends on like what the person's interest is i think right okay everyone is saying congratulations to you thank you okay okay guys thank you so much for joining in thank you so much devika for joining in and sharing uh, your experiences it was so nice you know interacting with you i enjoyed a lot thanks for having me yeah okay guys so i hope it helped you and we will see you in the next webinar bye bye